Hi, so the purpose of this video is to take this uh, YS3M maglev and try and improve the magnet strength. It is already uh, magnetic, so there are both edge and corner magnets, but they're not very strong, so as you move the uh, edges into place, it's not like they snap or home into place. They just sort of, well, gently uh, park in position but really it could do with having a much stronger magnetic attraction so that's what we're going to be doing here okay so the first thing i'm going to do is pop a cap here and actually get the thing off and um, just have a look at uh, the tensioners that this cube's got so the center is purple these are quite tight tensioners whereas this is an rs3m and uh, the plain one and if i pop a cap here you can see this has got blue tensioners. These are actually much better. So I'm just going to unscrew the um, center of this YS3M, um, which if I just carry on going, no, that still hasn't got it. Just uh, a little bit more, and hopefully that comes out. Yep, that's got it. Um, and then equally do the same for this RS3M. So I'm just going to unscrew the core, or this cap completely, take the centre out, and now I can pop the screw out of there because I want to get that blue uh, tension cap out of there, and equally do the same to the um, YS3M core and get its purple tensioner out. So now we have both blue and purple loosened from these cubes. Now the magic happens and I'm actually just going to uh, make room for it and then just switch those over. So uh, it doesn't matter about putting the pearl back in the RS3M because um, I'm going to upgrade those with blue when they come from the cubicle anyway. But the key thing here is I'm putting blue tensioners into the RS3M that I'm trying to improve in this video. So uh, I'll just pop the screw for the old RS3M back in and just pop that into place. Equally, this is the maglev, um, and just pop that into the blue, and just make sure the back magnet, uh, the, the ring magnet, go clips it down into place, and then put that into, back into place. Then I'll just tighten each one in turn. Um, I'm just going to do them sort of hand tight, and maybe just use a finger just to see if they feel like they're at the right sort of level. You can feel it if you go and feel a one that's already done and then comes this you can tell the difference um, so equally you're just going to tighten this one up and here we go just uh, pop that in there and screw that down and so that has replaced one tensioner in this cube so the plan here is just going to be simply to work around all uh, six faces of both cubes and switch over the um, the cores so now we just need a bit of cube magic um, to disassemble the cube so it's easy to get to the edges and the corners to start putting the magnets in. So I'll just let the cube disassemble itself and it's done. Okay, so now we need to add some magnets. So these kits uh, come from Amazon for about eight quid. Uh, the brand name is Milos and in there there's uh, a collection of different sizes of magnets. Uh, there's also this handy bar magnet that you can use for placing magnets in various positions. So if we have a quick look in this bag here, um, let's dig these things out. So there are um, several sizes of magnets you can see here. There are um, 100 3 by ones 50 4 by 2s and 50 5 by 2s okay so moving on um just gonna take this uh, already disassembled cube let's take these edge pieces out of it um just to show how we're going to start doing the upgrades in this um so that's four edges off the top layer we'll do the other pieces later just put that out to one side so if i open one of these edge pieces which you can do just by sort of squeezing it gently and then sort of pulling it apart um you can see that on the inside here there is a three by one magnet in each uh, edge so in the blue edge and the white edge 
So I'm actually going to boost those up with these big 5x2s. So if I just pull the 5x2 uh, collection off this and just take one off the top of the pile. If I now just hold this piece and put it roughly close and just let go, it snaps into place. And equally take another one off, um, just hold it near the white one and let go and it snaps into place. <laughs> oh, that's got stuck on there. So now I can just put that piece back together again and then just pop it off to one side and do the next one. So just open the orange here, another five by two off the pile drop it into place, it's, it'll hold in place, you don't need to glue them, they'll just hold by magnetic force and there's the other half of that edge, uh, push that back together that's another edge with a 5x2 upgrade, so there's just these two to go for this particular layer uh, so obviously there's um, 12 edge pieces in total but I'm um, just showing the first four here, that's one half, oops they keep getting stuck and uh, the other half of that, drop it in, and <laughs> they're stuck again. Uh, push it back together again, like that, and that's three of them done. But once you start doing this, you can get go through them quite quickly. So, oops, I lost the stem of this, so that's going to need to be slotted back into place. So I'll just do the two edge magnets, that's the green, and the white, that's done. Okay, so, so far it's had the uh, 5x2s <coughs> added into the edge pieces and uh, now there is a definite more magnetic snap to it. Also the, uh, the blue tensioners have loosened things up dramatically but it now rotates nicely and snaps into position if we can get it. So it's getting better, but it needs more. So next we're going to go for the corners. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's take a corner out. I'm not going to do all of it. I'll just show one corner and then uh, you can extrapolate them there. So if I just open up a corner piece so you can get the focus happening here. Um, it has... Oh, don't walk with the camera. It has... I think I'll need to do that. No, the camera cannot focus that close. Um, there are tiny three, well I think there are actually less than three by one magnets in there and inside the corner piece there's, um, there's one there and there's one on the white so there's three inside there. What I'm going to do is to, from the magnet pack I'm going to take these three by ones and just take one off the thing and find the hole and just Drop it in, and I don't know if that's going to focus, but it's now got two magnets in the hole. Now, while you can try and put bigger magnets in here, if you do, they won't fit in the cavity, so they have to go on top. And I've found that over time they can uh, detach and go and join one of the other magnets in the corner. So, three by ones are best from a corner like this. So, if I just do another one and take another magnet off the pile. Just uh, drop that into there, and again it's gone straight in on top of that. Now I don't want to take the white off just yet, even though it still needs to be done, because I want to put the green back in so it's in the right orientation. And now I can take the white off. And the white also needs uh, one magnet in there, so I take another three by one off the pile and just drop it into the cavity. It hasn't quite gone in, oh, it's gone on top. If that happens, what I've found best is to actually get a, something like a pen knife and you can just fish about in there and it should stick onto the pen knife. In fact, you should be able to then just pop it in there and then it's gone into the right place. So then you can pop this back on here. Um, oh, well these go together. There's a slot here and a blade and a blade and a slot. So you've got to just line those two things up put that into there and that into there and then just push together and that's that piece done and then just put back in so that's one corner done I'm now going to repeat it for all, all of the eight corners in the cube um, 
more, more later. Okay, I keep putting the cube back together to show how it's going, but um, normally you do this all in one shot with it taken apart. So I'll just uh, take it again, apart yet again. What I'm going to do this time is right at the corners. So let's just take all the pieces out. in. Um, the plan here is back to the magnet pack, whoops, <laughs> sticking to it, um, is to actually I'm going to do it with 5x2s. Uh, I've done this in another cube and 5x2 does seem to work for this so they're these big boys um, and what we're going to do is pop them into the centre here. So um, yeah, I'm just going to have to take this apart. Bear with. Okay, so um, I'm just going to need to use a screwdriver, just a cross point point screwdriver. I can focus again. Um, what I need to do is um, put magnets into these sort of triangular cavities at the centre of the uh, cube. But I'm going to do it with a hot melt glue gun and. It's very difficult to get in with it constructed as it is, so what I'm going to do is just whoops, take this off, pop that off to one side. It should be alright with the other four in place, I think I can get into it with this like that. Um, so I think I'm ready to start placing magnets. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so um, you may remember in the magnet pack you get this really big chunky magnet that is useful for placing things. So if I oh, these are the five by two bad boys that are gonna go at the center of this. So if I just take one off the pile, pop it over to one side, and just let it stick on there. So um, what I'm going to do is put glue in there and push it into place like that and just hold it using this thing. Uh, that's the plan. So let's go for it. Let's just stick some glue in there. Then I'll just let it go sort of slightly sticky and then just push, it, push this into the centre there. And if I just slide that away, it should hopefully stay in place. But I'll just make sure it pushes to push it there. Okay. Oh, don't want to get glue around there. So. You, you, this um, hot glue is kind of like rubber and you can pull strands of it off if you have a problem. Plus if you reheat it uh, with the tip of the thing that will allow it to, to be disconnected as well. So I'm just going to let that uh, dry there for a while. Okay so that fa first magnet should hopefully have had a chance to um, for the glue to dry. So I'm just going to use the magnet bar here just to check which way around it is. Okay, it's that way around. So what this is the active end of the magnet bar. So if I take another uh, 5x2 and just let it connect, then that's pointing, if you like, this side of it is the one that needs to go into the next cavity like that. I had to much do the one opposite here first. So once again, hopefully this glue's liquid again. Just pop a little dollop of glue in there, take the magnet and push it into there and just let it hold for a sec and try and slide it off. Okay, let's we'll stick it to the counter. Cool. Yeah. Um, right, yeah, so I'm just going to help that into place. So now we've got one on that side, one on that side. And I'm going to continue this process there, there, and then the other four on this side. 
and then I'm going to take the yellow uh, face off for that as well. So I'm just going to leave that to dry for a while. Once again, each time. Oh, look, I can do already. <laughs> I can move the core. Whoa! <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's promising. Isn't it? um, yeah, so I can use this to check which way around the magnets are, and then this is the actor set. Take the next one off the pile, and it's ready to go, and it's going to go into that cavity there. Now, when I start to put this one into place, even as I bring it up here, it's starting to be repelled by those two. So this one's going to take an awful lot more holding uh, to, to get it to stick in place. But uh, we'll come to that. Okay, so just to report, this is what it looks like when four of the magnets have been done. You can see them in there. They're hopefully all held. You just want to make sure the glue isn't sort of sticking up too much because there are pieces going to be moving around here but there is some space for movement um, so you don't have to be too accurate about this but uh, having done that on that side I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the other side before I start what I'm going to do is check to make sure this is the active end so when I do my fifth magnet I'll take my pile of magnets take one off and put it in there say uh, but I've got to put the white one back but take the other one off uh, before I can do that and I'll, I'll just get all that done okay so I've done three of the four on the top here so I've just got the last one queued up ready to go it's uh, on the right end of the thing I was going to stick some glue into the cavity just a, a sort of uh, you know, I don't know what you call that, it's a, just a small blob of glue it should be enough. Now as I put it close it's repelling from the other magnets but I just insist and push it in and hold it and I'm just, I don't know if you can see that, no you can't, not even, um, you can from where I am. Um, so I'm just going to slide that off and there we are, we've got sort of four Magnets place there and four there. That first one was a bit crap, so <laughs> I think you'll find you get better at this the more you do it. Quite like the way it's turned out on that side. Um, so that's the core done. Now that just needs to be set off to one side so that all that glue can properly harden. Um, it should be done with 5 by 2 so they can, they can be put back in the box now. Um, the next thing is going to be putting in the corner two core magnets. Um, just take the corner here, I'll just give you a full taste of what's to come. So rather handily they've put a hole in these, the middle of these corners for the wires 3M and that is going to get stuffed with magnets. Um, so that comes next. Okay so now we're going to put the um, 3 by ones into the corners and uh, as I said, just said there's a rather handy hole there. Now what I've found is, um, well all I've tried so far and it worked well so I'm not going to change it, is uh, these are three by ones so they're one millimetre deep. That hole is actually quite um, quite deep in the, there and in fact you could probably put several of these in but uh, what I've been doing is just pushing two in and they, they're just a nice tight fit so uh, when you push them in they'll just stick level you don't need to glue them or anything um, but what is absolutely key to this is let's see this is going to be the blue orange corner um, oh, it's going to have white on top isn't it um, when this corner is in place there this needs to be attracted to that core magnet so if you take this and make sure that is definitely attracted, there's no question that is pointing in the right direction. So the this needs to be sticking out if you like. So while you could um, peel two off here and push it in so that this face sticks out, it's actually easier to do it at the other end. So if you take that off the thing here, and just take, just put that into the middle there, 
and just push in one magnet and one magnet is now in their hole and then I can't see uh, I'll push in another magnet and then slide it off so there's now two magnets in that hole now just make sure we've done that right I should find that if I put this um, sink it's going to be like that yeah basically that piece is keen to just sit there yeah. so that is pulling towards that core so that's done right so I'm just going to do all the rest of them that's level yeah um, so we're going to redo that on all the other eight corners okay and that is job done so each of these has now got two three by ones it's just not quite flush now uh, in the corner there and so if we find the green white orange corner goes there yes that kind of tells you the story uh, I haven't done anything to hold that in place it is literally just pulling itself into roughly the right place there um, and so I should be able to reassemble the cube with that all done there is one more set of magnets to go but uh, for now I'll put that together again and see how it's going okay so so far we've got upgraded edges upgrade, there are five by twos in here extra three by ones in the corners uh, the core has got five by twos eight of them and each of the corner pieces has got two three by ones pointing towards the core and so now it is just starting to show signs of um, being much keener in going to a corner position and sticking there um, it's too loose I can tell you that for nothing uh, but yeah that is a loose cube uh, so that needs serious uh, tightening but that's just because I've had the centres undone and um, I've got the tensions totally loose so that it may need some tuning but uh, there is one more set of magnets to go into here if you look at an edge piece and see how easy it is to take it out uh, one of the really nice things about Weiss 3M um, is this cavity in the edge pieces and that size is a perfect hole to take a 4x2 and in fact uh, these ones I suppose we could hot glue them in uh, I'm more likely to um, put them in with super glue I think okay so I've taken a layer of the cube off again um, now the idea here is that um, in the core there are these ones in the the core magnets that attract the corners and the typical corner is going to pull towards it like that so um, it needs to pull and attract but then also we're going to put ones into these cavities they're going to go between the pieces in fact if we get it the right way up there we are um, now when when that is near the core I don't know if you can see that there um, what wants to happen is it wants to repel from the core and push away but then it will get round towards that one or the next one round and it'll be it'll want to push away from that so that will push it to be in the middle and this is what really gives the auto homing so to achieve that um, uh, what we need to do is ensure that the magnet that goes into this cavity here is not attracted to that but is repelled by that okay so we need to decide um, which way around to put the magnets in the edge pieces so these are the 4x2s and if I bring it up to the core that is clearly attracted um, so that it's not that end that needs to face out here it's this end in fact if I take this out and turn it around and try and put that anywhere near there I can't it just it's all over the place but it won't yeah it won't let me get anywhere near that magnet and that's exactly what you want to have happen so this is the end that's going to face out so if I get ready here pull one off pop it into there then basically 
that is what I want to achieve. Um, let me get the focus. Still not doing it. Okay. Um, yeah. So I need that magnet in there. Probably, hopefully, in the centre of it can be achieved. Um, I want it in flush. I, so if I just put that in there like that, uh, it may well be repel, repelled by the corners. But what's going to happen is just in the movement of the cube, nothing is holding it back there. It just moves. Uh, nothing's holding in that place, and uh, very shortly that is going to pull out because these are quite strong magnets in the core. And as it goes towards them, it'll flip over and then it'll get stuck on those magnets in the core. And that's not going to do anyone any good. So, um, what needs to happen is this it needs to be glued. I'm going to super glue it. Um, that's what I've done on the previous cube, so I know it works. So, I will just go super glue here. So, I'm just going to use um, this super glue. This, uh, that I've got a high viscosity and medium viscosity. I, I think I'll use the medium. I think it's worked well in the past. Um, the thing about super glue and cubes is that you can very quickly damage the cube. Um, even if you uh, now have, if you've got um, super glue debonder, it will let you um, wipe a spill off a, a surface of a cube, but. Well, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a certain shininess there. I mean, it is a matte finish cube, but there's a certain shininess. If I get this on there, it will go very matte indeed, and it doesn't feel great. So um, you've got to be so careful. You've got to be very localised about only putting it where you want it. Um, so just bear that in mind. So I shall now start the process of gluing these into place. By the way, one tip for making sure you're getting the magnets the right way around is to just check the polarity. So that is definitely repelling. So this is definitely the face that wants to face out, so it's facing that magnet. So just get a permanent marker pen and just mark that face. Um, and now, when it comes to gluing it, I've just got to ensure that red face is facing outwards. Um, Otherwise, it's going to be a, an attraction magnet, and we don't want that. It's got to be a repulsion magnet. Okay, so this is just doing super gluing one more of these magnets just to show exactly how I'm doing it. So, first off, check that's repelling the core. So, that is the side that wants to face out. So, therefore, I mark the top of it with red just to be sure. And what I'm going to do is take it off this bar magnet, put it on the other end and slide it off. So I've just got one, that one magnet with the red face upwards there. Oops. <laughs> and take the piece that I want to glue it into. Put a, if I can, it will come out. A drop of glue in the cavity. Take the magnet and push it into there and then just slide it off. And so therefore the red face is up on that. I probably want to just wipe the, any excess glue off that as well. But don't get this glue on anything else because um, it will it will completely ruin pieces of cubes if you get it on them. So I'm just making a pile of ones I've done there. Okay, and there we are. Um, all 12 edge pieces have now got a 4x2, which hopefully opposes the core, um, glued into their cavity. So everything is ready to reassemble. Okay, and uh, this is it. So um, there is some auto homing there. I, just, I think I've made it two times. No, it's tight on all faces. Um, yeah, it's, it's not the greatest result actually to be honest. Um, I did this same upgrade on the wires 3M ball core and it was much better but I totally understand why it's not going to be the same because basically if you just um, go inside the cube here 
the actual take this one out. the actual distance between the edges and the corners to the core is actually quite considerable. I mean it's got to be um, I don't know maybe six millimeters or something so if I just put, for instance that corner and put it back in there um, you can see the distance from the center magnet of that corner to the core of that corner which is in there you can just about see um, it's it's yeah I can feel it's yeah you can see it's having an effect it's pulling it back into place but it's it's not as good as ha as was the case with the ball core, and the reason is the ball core is actually comes out from the centre much further. So I think that's going to be the next step: is to double up those magnets to put another one on the outside of each one, and I think that may have a considerable inf effect on things. Okay, so what I've done is. Um, I haven't glued them. The, the first magnet at the core was glued with a melt glue gun earlier, but I've just dropped a second 5x2 on each of those and also underneath, and already I can tell this is going to work really well. Whoa! Yeah, it's uh, that is almost 45 degree auto homing, so that has certainly solved the problem. Um, oh, and there it goes. Yeah, that that's, feels really nice. Um, so I'll just put it, the rest of it back together. Okay, and here we are. So, um, yeah, putting those second lot of 5x2s in there has made it into quite strongly auto-homing. Um, it feels like it's taking it out of my hands as I turn it. Um, yeah, that feels really nice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty happy with the way that's gone, and it's uh, it it feels like it's snappy. It's like it, as you start a turn, it then wants to complete it, but to the perfect place each time. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to have a play with this and see how it really feels. But on first turns, that actually feels really nice. Yeah, it's pulling it. Uh, it's just a little bit too tight. I, I retention things and I think I may have gone a bit overboard. I'm not sure if I've got a side that's still loose. No, I think they're all, they're all a little bit too tight so I just need to work on that a bit. Uh, maybe undo a couple of screws. I mean the, the cube is loose. Like it's mad but it snaps back into place. In fact you can do that and you can do that yeah this is I, I can tell you this is fun just just this um, now whether those five by twos the double ones in the core are actually going to hold there I think if I turn it very quickly I may find that they detach um, so I'll have to give that a go and see how it goes but uh, yeah nice result Okay, so this is just a follow-up, um, quite a long time after I recorded the rest of this video. So what I've got here, this is actually a YS3M ball core, um, but it is a ball core in which I have done the uh, edge piece repulsion upgrade. Um, and this is the cube that I've been working on. My god, as I pick it up it feels remarkably heavier than this one, and that's because it's got so many magnets in it. So um, just to show, this is the kind of auto homing you get with the YS3M when it's got repulsion magnets in which is quite a, uh, yeah I can go almost all the way so 
so that gives you an idea of what it's like. This wasn't quite getting there, so I've done one last upgrade which wasn't recorded previously, and that's in the edge pieces on top of the 4x2 that I've glued in place. I've just stuck on a 3x1 on top, and that's just to bring the um, these repulsion magnets that little bit closer to the core and so what I've got now is it's almost almost as good as this one so this is the ball core with the repulsion and that's how, how good the auto army is in this one and this is the one I've been upgrading with just one last edition, so tw yeah, another um, <coughs> 12 magnets added to it. So I've lost track. Uh, was it 156, 158, 168 magnets inside this cube? Um, and it's pretty much got to the same place. But to be honest, if I wanted to um, get auto, auto homing, I think I'd just get the ball core model and then just do the uh, repulsion upgrade and it really is as simple as that. Oh, this one does have all the other upgrades as well, so if we can surprise that apart. Oops, Daisy. Um, there's a 5x2 in there. Pop that back. Come on. Hold on. And, oh yeah, in the corner pieces. Yeah, there's uh, extra 3 by ones in there as well. Come on, there it is. Come on. There we go. Yeah, like I say, this has got this amount of auto homing, and this one is pretty much the same but it look there just there are places sometimes where it'll just well obviously at halfway it'll stick but um, it's not quite as good plus as I say this is considerably heavier than this so there you are